Hi, this is your pastor Alex Fredia Ajiman coming your way this Christmas with a word from the Lord. And I believe we are all doing well with our family's home. We decided not to meet in church today because of the so many restrictions. But I believe last Sunday we had an awesome time. We enjoyed what the Lord had for us. I want to reiterate that message again to us for us to rethink Christmas. That message was the miracle of Christmas. The miracle of Christmas. The Lord made me go through these scriptures and to see the instances, the situations, the happenings around the birth of our Lord Jesus. It wasn't an ordinary thing. Angels were involved. The Holy Ghost was involved. In fact, the angel Gabriel, an archangel himself, was a carrier of the message, which means that it was the heartbeat of God, the miracle of Christmas. The birth of our Lord Jesus was as a result of the Holy Ghost. When you read Luke 1, 26 downwards, paraphrase, the Holy Ghost, by reason of the angel's proclamation of that message, coming upon Mary, overshadowing her, and she giving birth to Jesus. This was not an ordinary thing. It was a miracle. It was a divine intervention in human affairs. Beloved, this Christmas, the Lord is asking you and I to go back and to rethink the birth of our Lord Jesus. Through his birth, you and I have also been born again. And our born again is also not an ordinary thing. It's a miracle. Jesus gave birth to us by his word and his spirit, and now we are born again. It behoves us that even as Christ has been born in our hearts, let's rethink Christmas. What are we talking about this Christmas? Our assignment as believers is to make sure that this Jesus who was born through this miraculous means has been born in our hearts, and we also ensure him that other people's hearts will receive this Jesus. Rethink Christmas. Let's think about this whole thing as a huge assignment that God has given us. As we enjoy our families, in our homes, as we unwrap our gifts, let's also unwrap this gift of life that God has given us through His Son Jesus. Go out there and make sure that someone receives these gifts. That in the heart of an unbeliever, this miracle child will also be born in their hearts. How can they receive except someone preaches to them? Go out there this Christmas, talk to an unbeliever about Jesus, pray for someone. And I know that the message of and this miracle of Christmas will just propagate to the ends of the world. You and I have become channels of blessing. That God is blessing and also expecting us not to keep quiet, to go out there and talk about this miracle of Christmas. Unfortunately, when it got into the hands of some people, they either diluted or polluted it. But with you and I, we understand what the gospel is, who Jesus is. And we are going out there to unwrap this gift of Jesus, this miracle of Jesus. To give to others make sure that because of you somebody goes to heaven because of you somebody receives jesus don't keep this message be like those shepherds who after they have heard this message they run to where the baby jesus is the miracle of christmas is the message for you and i is the message of this season and i pray that even as you prepare yourself to deliver this message the Lord will perform miracles in your life this year and beyond expect miracles I pray in the name of Jesus that the Lord will visit you that the Lord will open doors and favor you until then I will see you some other time let's meet on New Year's Eve at 10 p.m. in church and enjoy some more goodies as we unwrap this miracle of Christmas I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. Now I call it a miracle 
Merry Christmas or Merry Miracle Christmas and a prosperous new year. The Lord bless you and I love you all. Bye.